Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is National Tesla Nagong. This is 2021.4.18 software update in my long range Tesla Model 3. But what is most interesting is that this is the third software update in five days. So I did get 2021.4.15.10.15.12 and now 4.18 in my long range Tesla Model 3 in five days. So something massive is happening in the background. Now, for the Urban Autopilot Challenge, do watch this video in its entirety because three most significant events happened in this one. The first one is this. I found something worse or more scary than a ghost. This is a jaywalker in the middle of the road. Watch what Tesla Model 3 does in this software update in my Urban Autopilot Challenge. The second one is this. Did the car take this left turn? Well, 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 something super interesting did happen here. Do check that out. And the third one is one more roundabout negotiation by our Tesla. It's a small roundabout at that, just like my Model S did in an earlier update, this one did happen too. So do check out all these interesting events in this video. Now let's see what the release note says. It only says minor bug fixes. Let's do the Urban Autopilot Challenge right away. First up is our familiar Albion Park traffic signal. If you have watched my previous Urban Autopilot Challenge videos, you'll remember that the car on autopilot always fails at this junction because it thinks that that right turn signal is for itself and tries to slow down instead of going straight. The next scenario that we could test is of a vehicle turning from the opposite lane into a lane on our side. Usually, although there is no necessity for the same, our Teslas come to a gut-wrenching halt almost like a phantom brake. But this is a more human-like behavior because there is more than enough space for the car to go and there is no necessity to apply a sudden brake. Well done indeed. Right then, I am not sure if you have noticed this, I have been a right lane hugging hoon in this entire autopilot challenge video. If you did not pick that up, do rewind this and watch this again. The more important segments is the earlier part of this video, particularly in the inclined planes without a center median but only a double center line. I wanted to see what our Tesla would do to the oncoming traffic on the opposite side. As you can see, the cars on the opposite side are traveling at a reasonable pace. I wanted to see if our Teslas would react differently if I was on the right lane. Pretty good. Not bad at all, I would say. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. While you're at it, a sub to the channel will be highly appreciated. Do click on that bell icon as well to get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop. And if you like what I'm doing, click on that like button and share this video too. Next autopilot test I did was in a city street, which is a narrow city street at that with a wide shoulder on the left and you can see there are cars parked on the left as well. I wanted to test this for a very long time to see how Autopilot will react to a scenario like this. And I'm quite happy with the way Autopilot handled this. I'm going to leave this as unedited as possible after initially fast forwarding the unwanted bits. All right, now let's do a nighttime autopilot run and there are some very interesting things that go on in this particular segment. So watch this in its entirety. The first part of the segment is quite innocuous. I try to negotiate a large roundabout and of course the car gives up. And so I start driving manually. And midway through negotiating this roundabout, I take this exit on the left. And this is actually an on-ramp onto Princess Highway. And when I turn on autopilot here, the car does something quite interesting. You see the car turns on the left indicator as opposed to the right because I have to turn and merge onto the right side of the lane to proceed on Princess Highway but the car thinks it has to first turn on the left indicator to stay on this lane. Now this is an oft repeated problem in multiple autopilot tests that I've done and I have flagged it in previous videos as well. People behind us are really confused by this because they think that I'm going to turn left but in actuality I'm trying to merge onto the right lane. This needs to be fixed quite soon. Now once we merge onto the right lane, autopilot works as it should, judging the distance between the cars, reading traffic signs, looking at the traffic signals and stopping and moving as it should, until this happens.
Now, did you guys see that? This is a jaywalker who has crossed the road and is standing in the median to cross onto the opposite side once the traffic on the opposite side eased off. Now, these guys are scary. But I'm really impressed by the way the car negotiated this particular scenario. As you can see, there is oncoming traffic on the opposite side with bright lights and I could barely see this guy but the car saw him much before I could and it reacted to him as it should. These autopilot software are just simply brilliant. Tesla is simply hitting it out of the park with these autopilot updates and these are the kind of things that make me really optimistic that this is the company that's going to take us to a future where we don't have to drive our cars manually. Now don't go anywhere because up ahead the car actually takes a 90 degree left turn and this was simply simply amazing. I'm not going to add any more commentary on this segment of the video. I'll let you watch this. Please do leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? Now, how cool was that? Did you guys watch that? Let's rewind this and watch it again and I'll talk you through this. When the car comes to the end of this off-ramp, it reaches this T-junction. You can see that red line signifying that the car will stop for traffic control. And at this instance, I click on the stock, urging the car to go forward. I have done this in previous autopilot tests as well. The car has never negotiated this turn, but in this instance, it does. This is super impressive indeed. I did make sure that there's no cars coming on the right side before I clicked on the stock, but even so, simply amazing indeed. Now for the last segment of this video, the car also took a left turn at a roundabout. This has been the most impressive autopilot test in a very long time in the Tesla Model 3 and I am super impressed. Thank you very much for watching folks. If you are on the lookout for a Tesla of your own, kindly consider using my referral code. Details of the same are there in the description of this video. Both of us will get 1500 kilometers or 1000 miles of free supercharger credits and you can use them anywhere in the world. And in my case, my free supercharger credits are directly linked to my higher Tesla Model 3 that I hire out via ev.com.au ex Canberra. This is my effort to get as many Aussies on an EV by lending it out at a reasonable price. So do help me in this regard. If you want to hire a Tesla from ev.com.au, consider using my referral code TeslaGong at checkout to get $25 off of your first hire. Click on that like button, subscribe button, and also click on that bell icon to get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong, signing off. Peace.